stage when the call came through, we'd actually have to qualify. Now, this is where some businesses don't do this, and the qualifying stage is really, really important. Um, if you don't qualify, you could actually start a whole sales journey with the wrong person and find that that was a whole wasted amount of time and they're not your client and you're, you haven't got the solution for them either. So the way we used to qualify is we used to have really specific questions we used to ask, especially in the construction company. We'd have people ringing, um, saying, you know, I think I've got this wrong with my property, I think I've got mould, I think I've got damp, I think I've got this. But we had questions we'd asked to diagnose on the phone whether they did or whether they didn't have particular things wrong with the property. Another big thing we do when we're qualified is we would make sure that whoever's on the end of the line was the decision maker. Um, we used to have people ring us um, who had, were, weren't the homeowner and they would say, oh, uh, can you come and look at this property? There's a problem with it. And then before we started qualifying, we'd find out they were the tenant and they didn't have a right to actually have anything done. They just wanted to use it as a dispute against the landlord. So the qualifying stage is really important that you ask really de you know, specific questions that gives you the key information is, is this client right for you? Are you able to, go on, can you serve them? Do you have a solution for them? Um, that's really important. We had very, very early on, we used to do a lot of work for estate agents uh, with our business and you'd think, well, that's great. That's a great JV that you've got going on there. Like they bring all their clients work to you and so on and so forth. And um, what we realized very quickly was we weren't qualifying enough so when I sat down, I'd look at my KPIs, the key performance indicators, and go, oh, lots have come from this estate agent, as in leads. And then I looked very, very closely and thought, we've had about 50 leads and no sale, no conversion. So when I looked at my, my rep's time and the surveyor's time of going out, that was a lot of time in a week they were running around and doing things. And I worked out that the actual estate agents, even though we thought they were a great client because you just kind of look at the leads coming in, didn't look at the data in much detail. And when we did, I realized they were actually using us to um, fight cases of people buying and selling houses so they could negotiate the price. So they were just using our business for that with, without actually bringing the sale to us. So very quickly, we started to do the qualifying process. Um, who's, who's this for? What's this? What's that? And very quickly, that saved us a lot of time and a lot of wasted money and frustrated reps and uh, surveyors as well. Uh, in the company. So getting those qualifying questions in, it's really important. When the inquiry comes in, a great thing to also do is ask them where they're seeing you. Ask that question, that's diamond. Because if you're not following your data right now and you're starting to push ad marketing out there and you're not asking anybody where they're seeing you, how are you going to know if that, what ad's working? You're not. So just asking that simple question gives you so much information for you to know where the majority of your clients are seeing you and coming from, especially if you're spending money.